Okay, so let's get it started now. I have a simple loop inside of FL Studio Edison and I'll play the loop. And as you can hear or see, the loop starts on a snare. And that may not be as desirable as it starting for instance here on the kick now you may find like when you're when you're digging through uh, records or mp3s or streaming or stream sampling your your sounds into into FL studio you may find within your song within the songs that you're sampling that you're attempting to loop you may find that when you're cutting around the loop, you are only able to grab the loop starting at the snare. So in this case, again, this loop is starting at the snare. And then I was able to still catch uh, the kick. And what I wanna do is I wanna actually have my beat or my, my loop in this case, my loop sample start at the kick because of course it's going to be easier for me to build my beat around that so the way to do this is to actually select the part of the sample that you'd like to start it at and it's normally going to be at the end of the loop that you've that you've actually uh, chopped up or sampled I'm going to right click I'm going to go down to select and I'm going to select select before current selection and what that's going to do is it's going to select everything before this part of the sample okay so as you can see it just did it there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control X or pretty much edit cut and then I'm gonna paste. And when you paste in Edison, it actually pastes it to the end of the current audio within Edison. Okay, so when I paste, there's the snare now. So now when I play the sample, So there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it.